hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create a simple title card animation in vscc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create a title card animation in vscc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported a demo video in the editor so this is my demo video right here but I will use this video a little while later. So as of now, let me just turn off the visibility of this video by clicking on this eye icon, which is present on the extreme left hand side. Perfect. And as you can see, my video is no longer visible. Now, the next thing which we will do is we will add some text on top of the screen. And so to do that, go to add object, go to text, click on text and then click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this. And let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say Atlantis. And let me just center align my text by clicking right here. Let me also change the font to Montserrat Black and let me increase the text size to somewhere around 140 pixels. Perfect. Let me also change the text color to this particular color right here which is present inside Civic Theme. Perfect. Now I would like to reduce the duration of this text object in the timeline. So currently the duration of this text object is 12 seconds, 400 milliseconds. So let me just reduce the duration of this text object to just four seconds. So write 04.000 inside the duration option and press enter. And as you can see, I've successfully reduced the duration of my text object in the timeline. Now, another thing which I would like to do is I would like to expand the text box so that it touches the edges of the screen like this. Perfect. All right. Now we will create a duplicate of this text object. So click on this text object, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Now drag this duplicate text object below like this and let me just change the text inside the text box so let me just write let's say the lost city and let me just change the text color to white perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will create some animation. So let me just click on this first text object, double click on it and now go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now place this push transition right at the start like this and look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Um, type is set to door so change this from door to side and mode is right to left so right to left okay that's fine directly is set to false so change this from false to true and inside gradient length currently the value is 50% so change this from 50 to 0 and then press enter one thing which I would like to tell you is that the duration of this push transition is 500 milliseconds. As you can see right here, duration is 500 milliseconds. So keep that in mind. Now, if I just quickly play this for you. Perfect. All right. Let's create a second push transition. So let me just go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now look inside the push settings 
and look inside the push settings of this second push transition which we just created type is set to side so that's fine a mode is right to left so we need to change this from right to left to left to right directly set to false so that's fine inside gradient length value is already set to 0% so that's fine as well let's just check how things are looking perfect now let's go back to the main editing timeline and now let's double click on the second text object which is present above and now once again let's go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on OK. Now place this push transition right at the start like this and look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to side, mode is left to right. So mode is left to right. So I need to change this or maybe not. Mode is left to right so that's fine. Directly set to false. So change this from false to true. Inside gradient length, value is already set to 0%. So let me just check how things are looking. Perfect. Perfect. Let's create our fourth push transition and the second push transition for this particular text object. So go to video effects once again, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now look inside the push settings. Type is set to side, mode is left to right. So we need to change this from left to right to right to left. Directly set to false and inside gradient length value is set to 0%. So that's fine. Now let me just quickly check. Perfect. So now if I just quickly play this thing for you, this is how things are looking right now. perfect now what we will do next is we will turn on the visibility of our video so let me just click on this eye icon once again and now our video is visible so if i just quickly play this entire thing for you okay now what we will do is we will kind of dim the light in the background so that when the titles come on screen they are properly visible so to do that double click on the video and what we will do is we will add custom transparency so go to video effects go to transparency select custom transparency and then click on ok now currently the duration of this custom transparency effect is 12 seconds 400 milliseconds so reduce the duration to 4 seconds so write 04.000 inside the duration option and press enter now look inside the transparent settings which is present inside the properties window inside the transparency option currently the value is 100 percent so first of all change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so that we have two values 100 semicolon 100 and now change the values from 100 semicolon 100 to 0 semicolon 40 and then press enter perfect and so if i just quickly play the video for you once again perfect one final thing which is left to be done is when my cursor crosses four seconds the light kind of comes on screen at a full speed and so i need to make that happen gradually and so to do that double click on the video once again place the cursor at four seconds go to video effects go to transparency select custom transparency once again and then click on ok now the duration of this second custom transparency effect is 8 second 400 millisecond so reduce the duration to just one second 
So write 01.000 inside the duration option and press enter. And now look inside the transparent settings. Inside the transparency option, as you can see, values are 0 semicolon 40. So change the values from 0 semicolon 40 to 40 semicolon 100 and then press enter. Perfect. And so we are done. So finally, if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. Perfect. So this is how you can create a simple title card animation in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.